Hello, ladies and gentlemen, in the final video of the day. Looks like we'll be uh, talking about uh, Keffles and their uh, and Kiwi Farms and exactly what's going on. There'll probably be more information and stuff coming out that I'll probably post uh, talking to uh, with Nick Ricada, which you guys should go check out, by the way, that he uh, um, that he talks more with the people about uh, the Kiwi Farms and all that great stuff. Um, however, we see that uh, they are failing, and it is absolutely quite glorious in every step of the way um so without further ado we'll probably get right in right into it which is this is also by the way guys a massive uh for, i would say a good freedom of speech standpoint because this just, just this just means that they won't uh they won't be doing it but they won't, uh, Kiwi Farms would be saying, I'm not a, I don't say anything about, uh, Kiwi Farms, mostly just because of the fact that I just, I don't really care for it, but it doesn't mean I want a company shut down because of, of idiots. Anywho, streamer Keffles organizes protests to take down extremist forum Kiwi Farms, which is not an extremist forum at all, but I digress. Uh, Twitch and YouTube streamer Cl uh, Clara Sorrenti, better known as Keffles, has begun a campaign to have Cloudflare drop support of the extremist forum Kiwi Farms, claiming that the site is a transphobic hate forum and accuses of, this, of stalking people, publishing docs information, and having a hand in multiple suicides. Uh, Scorrente has claimed for several weeks that Kiwi Farms is also the reason why she's had to go into hiding and move out of the country. The streamer announced that back at the beginning of the August that she had been ra arrested by the police after a swatting incident. She later went on to explain that she's currently living in an undisclosed Airbnb due to being doxxed a second time after several pieces were sent to the hotel she was staying in. Scorrente has claimed users Kiwi Farms were behind both incidents. Sorrenti has now announced that via her personal Twitter account that she has set up a new site to aid in her goal to get Cloudflare drop, to drop support for Kiwi Farms entirely. The site contains contact information of top execs and several businesses uh, supporting Kiwi Farms and owner Joshua Moon, urging people that would want to help to apply pressure until Kiwi Farms is dropped. Additionally, Sorrenti has also announced the via this review website that, that a protest is to take place outside of the Cloudflare Connect conference in San Francisco, in which several top executives will be in attendance on October 18th should Cloudflare not drop Kiwi Farms and the business behind it behind it before then. Sorrenti claims that she has already been in contact with multiple activist groups and calls on Cloudflare to drop to the site to avoid a PR disaster. If you want to get involved in some way, Sorrenti also explains that she is using the Keffles of Reddit to organize things and keep in touch with fans. We could be updated with the situation as it develops. So, this is what this piece of garbage human is doing, by the way. Um, if, for people that don't know Keffles, she is the type of person that uh, wants to uh, put uh, children into, uh, you know, see uh, transfer for children and all that stuff. So, uh... Like, for a good example, I think there might be actually a tweet here, maybe. Uh, so, uh, she is actively known for, uh, at least currently, uh, or only the people that know her, is that she uh, wants to transition people, uh, kids, without parents noticing, so that, there's that. Um, and uh, all this other stuff. So, avoiding abuse of power, I will go into this later, obviously, but uh, not right now. Um, but we will see that, uh, uh, what that's going on here with Keflos and all this stuff, what she's been doing, because quite honestly, what she's doing is she's just a disgusting human being and, uh, she just deserves to be destroyed. Uh, the official website of the Drop Kiwi Farms campaign is now online, blah, 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 blah. She's describing as a, a Kiwi Farms and, uh. So she's trying to do this and drop covering, uh, covering news and, pol and politics at Twitch Capitals. Yeah, but you are also uh, uh, again. See, she was not uh, she was not verified until uh, very recently. So she has all this other stuff. So um, we'll go over it briefly. Uh, the official website of the Drop Kiwi Farms campaign is now online. Our, ca our campaign has been a surge of has seen a surge of support and outlets such as Business Insider. Well, of course, because all these things are very far left sites. They are going to support any type of any of this type of bullshit because these people are honestly disgusting. Uh, both both those things are just not relative. Have begun to take notice and no, request my media to organize other 
campaign point keep pouring in. We're now entering into the second phase of this campaign where our organizational efforts intensify and we start to put more focused pressure on Cloudflare, a voice to get them to drop a website that the Anti-Defamation League has described as an extremist friendly forum. Cable Farms is a transphobic hate forum that actively stalks publish people publishes doxing information and is implicated in multiple suicides of transgender and neurodivergent people. No, because what what you don't like, careful, is that all your information that is on Kiwi Farms is being shown to the public, and you don't like that. So now that you don't like that, you want them actively removed so you don't see how, how much of a garbage human being that you are. And even people, we will even see people as well, is uh, what we'll see on the side as well, what she's saying. On our site, you will find the contact information for many of the topics that is at Cloudfair, as well as several other businesses that support Joshua Moon and his hate forum. As we continue to move forward, we will add more contact information of the people who work at the businesses that keep Kiwi Farms on the internet and apply pressure until they do the right thing and drop them. Because I am one of the most active targets of this website, I have been doxxed, swatted, had my accounts hacked, had my members of my family doxxed and threatened, and most recently had to flee the continent only for someone to once again figure out my location and threaten to show up at my address. The abuse and harassment I face will not end until this has been taken off and taken offline. We will continue to apply pressure to the various businesses and people who support Kiwi Farms until the site is offline permanently. If Clever does not drop a Joshua Moon and his company uh, 1776 Solutions LAC, blah, 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 blah. Organizing a protest at 511 Harrison Street, San Francisco, where the Cloudflare Connect conference is set to be held. All the top executives of the company will be there, and we will have a chance to have our concerns heard by them in person. I have already been in contact with several large activist groups in the area, as well as the media. Which means there probably will be a riot, uh, um, or some sort of... Uh, of some sort there. So, guys, what we're going to do is that we're going to keep track of October 18th at 9.30 a.m. Because what this usually means is that there will pro most likely be a riot if she's, if she's getting activist groups involved. So, we'll keep track of that and we'll make sure that <laughs> what she says is true. Because it won't be what they think it's going to be. Cloud, Cloudflare can act sooner and drop keep farms just as they have dropped other extremist websites in the past like the Daily Stormer and 8chan or, or how the situation escalate into a PR disaster. Uh, our website will be frequently updated and I will publish our campaign statements to Twitter regularly. If you want to help us in our campaign, we are using the careful subreddit to organize and keep in touch with each with each other. Hate will not win and our campaign is growing every day. Together we are growing to take this uh, website permanently and bring justice to its countless victims. Yeah, well, that's not going to work because it already failed. But you have some people even going to say, you lost me at advocating for the harassment of random Cloudflare employees. A protest is not harassment. Talkers like aren't random employees. Ye yeah, they are. They're still random employees. Nah, don't lie. When you make dishonest comments like this, it's obvious you was never on board with it, by any means necessary. It's like these are not random employees. I assume you say that you're going to vote in the next elections could fix this as well. That's not what it is. Contacting people who work and make decisions at a company is one of the only decisions that can be made. A part of their job is dealing with the public opinion of their company. These are not random people. They are executives of a company. Uh, uh, okay, again, they are people because they are just random people. Just because they're an executive does not exclude that they are not just random people. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I agree with Internet Goblin with this. They, uh, yeah, they're random. Uh, they're random cloud for employees. They're all random. The way to contact them is to contact them through their own normal means of contact, not through harassing them. It is considered harassment. Yeah. See, also random Cloudflare employees? Damn. More focused pressure on Cloudflare employees. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and so Mickey's on saying, w please inform me of what put pressure on Cloudflare employees means. Uh, and to be honest, this entire thing on both sides has become extremely toxic. People who didn't deserve to be doxxed were doxxed by Keffels. You really want me to believe they meant to, sh meant to straight to, to the CEO. Bro, read the other screenshots. They are literally saying that, that the information on the website will be a contact for for higher ups at Cloudflare business to switch to Cloudflare. There's literally zero gain to pressure on its debtor employees. Thanks. That's kind of obvious. I get that, but when you say press, put pressure on employees and not put pressure on CEOs, what are you really thinking is going to happen? Please, be 100% real with this. 
So, uh, so this is uh, so, yeah, exactly. Gotcha. And this person also has. Uh, by the way, this person also has she heard in her bio. Uh, her bio. Oh, by the way, which no, no threat to this person. I don't think this person is really necessarily a bad person. But of course, this person is also blocked. So again, not everybody is agreeing with her. Obviously, even in her own tweets. So that they'd be as it may. Well, we also have Cloudflare tries to ignore the world. You don't have to take their money. Cloudflare is a fascinating company and an interesting collection of people with technology that has a real shot to transform the way com the way enterprise computing is built over the last rest of this decade. It's also an infuriating company, stubbornly dedicated to a principle that time and time again puts it in cahoots with some of the worst people on the internet. Online protests against Cloudflare have been growing over the past few weeks after trans transgender activist and Twitch streamer Clara Sorrenti was forced into hiding thanks to a campaign organized on a discussion forum called Kiwi Farms, a site with a long history of harassment and, su and hate. Sorrenti was swatted, later down and tracked down, blah, 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 we already know this. Cloudflare has, however, made it several times, made it clear several times in the past that it doesn't think it should deny services to companies that don't, that people don't like. Exactly, because that's just ridiculous. So, uh, Cloudflare has remained silent during this new, new round of protests, disabling replies on its corporate Twitter account and declined to explain its thinking for several reports. It likewise declined to make prints available for interview with protocol. Given that silence, the easiest question is that prints and Cloudflare don't think that companies that enable that enable target a her, trans hate and other harassment campaigns that... No, because, again, here's the thing. You are actively trying to remove a company that you don't like, so therefore you want to remove it. There is no hate or anything on there because it's not been shown it. The only reason why Keffels, again, is going after this is because she's being, she's being shown that she's a groomer. She she wants to transition children. She's actively have said this. So I digress. I don't know what you're really trying to get at. And Cloudflare goes on to say with the whole thing here is that Cloudflare launched nearly 12 years ago over that time. Our, our sets of services has become much more complicated. With that complexity, we have developed policies around how we handle abuse of different features Cloudflare provides. Excellent. Love the response. And then also the quartering, Jeremy, uh, goes on, uh, says the abuse of power, avoiding abuse of power. Some argue that we should terminate these services to content we, we find reprehensible so that others can launch attacks to knock it offline. That is the equivalent argument in the statistical world that the fire department shouldn't respond to fires in the homes of people who do not possess sufficient moral character, both in the physical world and online. And that, that is a dangerous precedent and, and one that is over the long term most likely to disproportionately harm vulnerable and marginalized communities. Exactly. I agree. And this is what Kefels is trying to do. Don't don't support Kefels. She's a disgusting human being. Here and out. And the more you find out about her, the more you'll see that people are just absolutely disgusted. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did you dox parents which had nothing to do with it? As well as why would we would he harass random employees? Is there an effort to reach out to other Cloudflare clients and actively work with them to move away from it? And actions not taken. Blah 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 blah. Uh, it only took me until now to ask, what the heck is a Keffels anyways? If you're protesting Cloudflare, why are you uh, using their name servers? <laughs> this needs to be escalated. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> so uh, again, a, a lot of... Yeah, so again, not everybody's agreeing with her. Uh, then of course, she gets part of the far left community because that's what she is. But again, this person is a garbage human being, and uh, let's uh, make sure that it remains. She remains to be a garbage human being. Um, and uh, that will be it for the video, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, fuck Keffels.